Hey everyone, it's Lisa and today is Monday and I thought I would start the week off with a tutorial. So I did this look, which is the one I did yesterday. It's more of a natural color. Um, looks like it ended up maybe a little bit darker. I might have used a little bit more of the crease color, but it's all the basic colors that I used yesterday. And hey guys, I hope you enjoy. <laughs> I'm in all my glory and I've gotten close up for you so you can see this has been my worst spot lately and I've... Um, I had held off on the hydroquinone for a while and I just started again and I, I can feel it flaking so um, but and then I have the broken capillaries that are red right here and a little bit a few bumps lately but anyway I just wanted to show you how good this covers and I forgot something for my hair I'll just put it back right now okay the first thing I do as you know and you have to let me know if you want me to go through the face every time um, I do things different though, a lot of times. Okay, so there's my Armani, and one of my must have. Pat it in, don't take it all the way up to the lash line, just pat it right in that darkness, like that. And even if it doesn't look completely blended in, see like you can see a little bit there, just leave it there, because it kind of soaks in. And go up into that darkness up there. And then I've got some redness around my nose where I have chronic dry skin around my nose, flaky skin. And so when I get the flaky off, it turns red. Okay, so there's that. Okay, then the first thing I always do, no matter what, is put on my Rachel K. The only thing is I either use fair or neutral, which we just ordered this and they're no longer gonna be carrying these sun kiss. So what I have is the last of it. And they're um, repackaging the fair is gonna be in a package like this. I believe it's black or something. I'm, I won't know for sure. And well, I do think I have pictures. I think it's black. And then they're also repackaging the powders. And um, so anyway, I use fair or neutral depending on what foundation I'm using. If I want to use one that is darker or a little bit too dark for me right now, I'll use fair and that way between the darker and the lighter, it makes it perfect. But today I'm gonna to use the Air Flash, which is pretty much perfect. So um, I'm gonna use the neutral, which is pretty much perfect. So I put a little bit on my finger and just kind of start in the center of my face and just kind of make a good, since I'm using this mostly as a primer, I'm putting it in the places where my pores are, in the places where my makeup would kind of rub off on my cheeks and stuff, and um, also for some extra coverage. See how it kind of mutes it out? It doesn't cover it, but it does help mute it a little bit. Just rub it in good. Like, you know, you're treating it more as a primer, or I do, treat it more as a primer than a foundation and you'll feel it'll get you know just kind of powdery almost slick feeling which I love because then it's easy to layer over it's real easy to layer the mineral powder because it just kind of glides right over but this air flash it makes it easy too now this is going to be a comedy because I'm going to have to close my eyes and do this and just hope that you can see it and so um, this is the brush that I use with it. You can do it one of two ways. You can, matter of fact, let me show you a little bit of both because I do a little bit of both because I've learned I can't really spray up around my hairline without it getting all over the place. Okay, it's the Air Flash by Dior um, number 301. And you wanna shake it up, mix it up really, okay, really good. Really. This is the Backstage Foundation Flat Top Brush, I believe is what it's called. And um, let me try to, then you just, you see it sprays right on the brush like that and then I just kind of see how much it goes right on you kind of stipple it on and just brush it out and it's beautiful I hope that my webcam will pick up how pretty that is and it's just gorgeous okay so I know my forehead is done but just for giggles let's do the rest of my face and what I usually do is just I usually like to get in this look that I did yesterday I actually did my eyelids and everything so um, here we go 
I do short little sprays like that. And I don't know if you can see, but it is just basically perfect. So now all I need to do is go back before it dries and just kind of pat it out. And it matches my neck um, almost perfectly. If you guys can see, it is just pretty much a flawless finish. So I don't feel like I need to put any powder or anything over it. No MAC MSF, nothing really. And I brought this out here to use, but I'm going to do that at the end, you know, when I'm kind of going over the whole thing. So I'm going to put this up on through. Just kind of make sure everything's blended and it's all on my eyelids and everything. I tell you what I might do is Linda, the girl that told me about this powder, that's what she really likes using it for is her eyelids. And she said that it just locks her eyeshadow in place. And she has a very intricate eyeshadow. She does more of a bombshell look and it's a lot of black and brown and it's, you know, perfect. So it must work. So I'm going to do my eyelids very, real quick too. Um, just like the Makeup Forever. It's very fine. Let's see what brush we will use. Let's use... Um, the Smashbox. So I think what I'm gonna do is just put a little bit, yeah. And it comes right out and it is very translucent and light. So go over my eye. And I'll just, since I got it out, I'll go over. Okay, and the bronzer okay. I've been using has been this Physicians Formula and I love it. And I had someone ask me, was it medium or what and i i cannot i don't know if you guys will be able to see i cannot find one thing on there that says you can see it says mineral makeup talc free um and then that just says bronzer it just does not say any color um so when i go to ulta next time i'll look and see but i don't remember there being any more and it's got that cheesy little thing like that but i don't use it let's see Okay, I use this brush for my bronzer and contour, and it is the MAC 138. And so I, this is a real soft bronzer. You don't have to, if you went like that, you would, I don't know what would happen. <laughs> you would use half of it. So just do like that. And I'll go right in here, kind of to contour and on my cheekbones and around in my hairline. And then back, and then down like that. And then again, okay, right under and on my cheekbone, and up, and down, like that. And let's see, I didn't bring that other one out here. Um, I think yesterday, I don't know if I listed it, I don't think I did, because I, I remembered a few things that I forgot, but I used a little bit of that real bronzy cocoa okay. blush. The blush I used yesterday was this one that Anne Marie sent me and it is the cocoa or Keiko, Ke cacao, <laughs> I think is the correct way to pronounce it, from Deborah Milano and it's beautiful. But the closest thing that I can find that you might have and you would be able to get would be the, let's see, Warm Soul. You can see that they're very, very similar. Warm Soul might have a little bit more shimmer. So I'm going to use the Warm Soul just so you can do the look yourself if you want to. And this is my Bobbi Brown blush brush that I really like. And it's the one that they sell at the counter now. So, and I just kind of go on each little beveled side like that. And the new blush technique that, they, that she taught me, it doesn't apply as much with a, I guess you could do it with a color like this, but it's really better to do it with like dainty or when you're doing more of a pop of color but it's to go right here underneath, you know, right underneath the last third of your eye. And then I usually work mine out like that. So I'm gonna go right here, start. And I tell you, I have enjoyed blush so much more since I quit trying to do this. If you can, try to get out of that 
and I, I, I don't, I'm not saying it's the wrong way to do it. I'm just saying for me, which all my tutorials, <laughs> all of my tutorials about Broke It are going to be what works for me because that's, I'm not a makeup artist. I'm just going to be telling you what works for me. And I think I enjoy my blushes when I pat them in like that. I just think that they look prettier and they go into my skin and they're more true to their color. Okay, that way. so here is the place where I would typically fix plus. I'm not going to use a highlighter because that warm sole has plenty of um, dimension and has a little bit of shimmer to it. It's the mineral eyes. Um, but I am going to leave it and just see what happens um, because hmm, I'm just going to see what happens. Maybe I'll fix plus at the end. Okay, so I, yesterday I did not use any eyelid primer because of using that Dior flash. It just is such a good one. And the eyeshadow I used all over was the Urban Decay Naked. And I had somebody ask me which shadows out of the Naked palette. And I should have specified that it's just actually the Naked color. And this is, to me, this is the best one out of the whole palette. And um, so the brush, I cannot remember what brush I used yesterday, but I'm gonna use this one. I love this brush. It's the MAC 279. It's kind of a fluffy angled brush and it's good when you're wanting to use, you know, one color all over. So I'll put plenty of the color on there. And then what I always do is start, you know, kind of like coloring. I start on the outside and work my way in and so like that and I made sure I got this color all on the lid too because my plans in the beginning were to just wear this color like that so you can see that it's such a natural color but it still gives you plenty of dimension and I went to the other side this brush kind of works right up into the crease really well I can already think of one thing I forgot to do first. Okay, but it won't matter. The first thing that I did, I'm trying to get used to using this thing, is um, this, this Anastasia Brow Duality. This is the one that's in matte shell and lace shimmer. And yesterday, um, I used the matte shell and I just did a little bit of right underneath my brow like that. Like that. And, and then just take your hand and just blend it out. And that way you don't need to use a highlight color, but it still highlights your brow a little bit. Isn't that pretty? I haven't used the shimmer one much, if at all, but that's what the shimmer looks like. And then this is the shell. Pretty neat. I like it a little bit better than the Benefit one, I think. It's not as, um, it's just a little bit more subtle. Okay. So, and then another thing I did is I took this naked and I went generously under my eyes. Whew, poofed it all in my contacts. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay, and that's it. Okay, and that's all that I used from this shadow. That's the only thing I did. And, um... I think the next thing I did was use, and I think this is another thing I left off because when I'm doing what I wore, I have to think back, and a lot of times I just forget some of it, but I remembered this when I was taking it off, is the brown or the chocolate shimmer from Bobby Brown. I'm brown. using my wonderful Louise Young LY24 brush, and I'm just kind of, these Bobby Brown liners are just a little bit drier than most, so you can really swirl it around and get a lot on your brush. And I just did a normal, um, not too thick, ooh, not too thin line, um, like this. And this. I'm glad you'll get to see how good this brush works. And you still see, okay. Just making sure I get down at the lashes. And um, this is another little thing. This was funny. When I got the makeover, um, the first one that I had with Ashley, the girl from California, and she did more of the, um, the one I did, I think, Friday before last, the look that I wore. 
she did this and it's, uh, it was funny because I said, I can remember doing that and somebody told me that they were a makeup artist and that I shouldn't do that because it made my eyes look smaller. And she just shook her head and I was like, you know, you really just, everybody has an opinion. It doesn't matter if you're a makeup artist. You can watch five of the best makeup artists and they're gonna do things differently. So don't let anybody tell you what to and not to do too much. But what she did is what I had done before, and you'll remember, is instead of going all the way to the end of my eye and doing the wing, she cut it just a little bit short and did it right about here. And then come back in. Like that. And that just makes your eye just appear, um, it lifts it. So you can see it's already lifted it from the other one. Okay, so let's do the other one. And it's just a basic line. And I just kind of walk it in. I hear my cats trying to get out from up. I had to put them in the room over the garage, Brooke's room, so I could do this and I hear them trying to escape. <laughs> okay, so just make sure you get close to the lashes. And then when I get to the very end, see, I don't wait till I get all the way to the end of my eye. Right, you know, right here, I go ahead and lift it up like that, and then just bring it over. And down. Okay, it looks like I lifted that one too much. Okay, let's go out some more. Connect. I can never get them just the same. Okay, that one lifts a little bit more than that one, so we're going to have to. But really, when I put my lashes and everything else on, it won't matter as much. This one goes a little bit more out, but I don't think it'll matter once I put my lashes and everything on. Okay, so that's all I did. I didn't put any liner or anything underneath Go ahead and do the eyebrows. And I mean, um, today I'm going to use my new one. It, it is the Lancome Blonde, not the natural blonde, but just the regular blonde. And this one is um, a little bit lighter and does not have as much of the gray or taupiness in it. So just brush out my brows. And then I'm going to start right here. And you can see how they're there. I just need to fill them in a little bit. And so I usually just start by filling in that bottom. And filling it in like that. So I filled in the front. And this is a trick I was going to show y'all to make your brows seem a little bit more rounded. Because you can see mine naturally go up to an arch is I've been going to the outside, kind of like I line my lips. I like to line my lips from the outside in. I think it gives a prettier, rounder, fuller appearance and it makes them, it's easier to get them even. So that's the way I've been doing my brows and I want to extend it just a little bit and I've just been going like this. And see if you can, and doing them this way. Even if it, even if it messes up my eyebrow, that's fine. And then go in a little bit and that's too dark for me, but you'll see what I do when I get through. So from the outside in, like this. I mean, all the way over. And then I do it a little bit on the bottom too. And then that fills it in and gives it a nice rounder shape. And then this spoolie is the best. This thing is like, I've told you before, it's like a grill brush. It is heavy duty, but it doesn't hurt. It just seems to brush it out perfectly and brush out the color so it ends up being perfect. Just kind of spreads it. Looks like I did this one darker, so I'll go back. Might not have done the front of this one. Might have been talking too much. I think that's what happened. There.
Okay, so that's my brows. And then what I usually do after that is use the Blonde Anastasia Brow Gel, and you'll see that makes them even a prettier color. Because this is really a, a goldy blonde. And I just go over them. Like that. And it keeps them in place all day and does not get flaky or cakey looking. Okay. Now, I am going to go get my lashes and go ahead and put those on. Okay, and we'll this is this. another thing. Do you guys want to see me do my lashes in each video or do you want me just to skip that part once you've seen it one time? You'll have to let me know. But these are my favorite lashes. They are the Ardell 120S and I have just worn these one time. So you can see there's barely any mascara or anything on them. I barely, I never try to put mascara right here, but by the time I've worn them about 10 times, just from blending them in with my other lashes, they'll get mascara on them. But, um, and I've cut the first, when I take them off the tray, I usually cut the first little section of short lashes off. So here we have those. And they're still a little sticky, but not enough. Um, if you were probably sticking them to bare skin, then they probably, oops, already took it off. They would probably be enough. But um, what I'm going to do, I think I forgot okay, my I'm not good at veering away so. from my system. And with my contacts in, I can't see close up as good. So I'm going to just take this glue. You don't want too much. So I'm going to take it and spread it. You don't want it to get into the lashes. And then I don't put any mascara on my lashes beforehand and I don't curl them because I think it's easier to put my lashes on when they're not curled. So let me put my magnifying mirror up and see if we can do this. Okay. And then I grab the thing with my tweezers and I just go right in to my lashes, kind of tilt them up, position them where I think that they will go and then just drop them and then the only place you usually have to adjust is that inner corner. You'll have to put it where it goes. And then you can grab the outside and kind of pull it if you need to and put it right where you need to. And so there it is. And you can see how pretty these are. Just, you know, with barely anything on. Okay, I had a little bit of glue right there in the corner. So I just took a Q-tip and got it. Okay, okay, so that's that one. Grab it by the end like that. And a lot of times if it looks like it's going to be too flat, I'll go ahead and wiggle it because you want it to kind of be curved. That way it cups right on, you'll see it cups right onto your eye. Okay, it's not wanting to let go. I hate it when that happens. Quit. Okay. I don't know if you can hear John talking. He's working from home today. So between him and Bridget and the cats, this is a circus. Okay, so I got it on. And I don't care how many times I have to do this, it's still better than putting on mascara. And taking it off is so easy. You just take them right off and you barely have any makeup to take off. Okay. Okay, it looks like I've gotten a little bit too far in, so I'm gonna take them and reposition them a little bit. Okay, I'm gonna reposition them a lot. Okay, here we go. Okay. Okay, so we got the lashes on and there's one more step that I need to do. I need to, you know, put something above that line because I did not, typically if I'm wearing like a thick black winged liner, I can put these on and it's no big deal. They just blend right in. But with more of a natural look, you can see, which I like the band. I like it given that much depth at the lashes, but you need to do something right above the band to help it just blend. So I'm going to let that dry and we'll do the lips and then I'll... Um, Take care hey, of that I still band. have not found my brand new bronzel, but I'm going to use my older one. I don't know where I put it, 
So this is from Lancome. It is a beautiful color. And um, so, like I said before, I'm going to start at the outside of my lips. And work in right on the edge of the lip line. Like that. And one thing I have learned is don't give up this little bit of skin you have on the edge open your mouth and kind of connect it a little bit not a lot you'll see it you'll see when it's too much but just a little bit and i usually put my lips together and that really blends it Okay, and you can see it. I have a little bit more skin under here that I did not put lip liner on, so I usually just go back and shade that. Okay, and then the color is one that I just bought again, and I really like it. I'm glad I got it, and I might even go get Velvet Taddy too because it's a little bit darker. And then I just used Honey Love. And yesterday, I think I had blended a lot better. Okay, and so there are the lips, and they are looking... I tell you, that bronzel just makes your lips look huge. And if I think yesterday, before I put that Honey Love on, I had put on a gloss. I'm not sure. I might have just put, in, I might have just put on my lip conditioner, so my lips were a little glossier. And if you would want them to be glossier, I would put on something. Let me go get my Lorac Chuck. Okay. I think that would be a good one. A little bit of Chuck, make it a little glossier. Because I don't know, everybody likes matte, but it is a pretty matte lip. I'll put just a little bit right there. Oh, that looks pretty. And I know this bugs some people. Okay, so that's the lip. That's a pretty lip. Okay, and now for the next two final step was oh now i got two more steps okay when i was doing my makeup yesterday i was just kind of doing it i wasn't thinking you know i was just kind of doing it and adding as i go and i noticed at the end that i thought i would look better with a little bit more of an accent in the crease so i opened up my drawer and i saw my nars shadows and i thought god i think i have a pretty dark brown one and it's a galapagos and it's this sparkly really pretty chocolatey brown and so I dipped just a little bit. This is a Louise Young um, LY38 brush. And I went right from the edge of that liner in just a little bit like that. And you can see that just adds a little bit. And see, my, my eyes just naturally kind of come over like that. Will's eyes are just like mine. His do that too. He won't ever have to worry about it though. <laughs> but um, so I naturally kind of have to shade that area right there sometimes. And then come in like that. And let's see, that looks a little darker. We'll go back in with that brush that we used the naked and blend that out. Like that. And then the last step I did is I wanted something to put over that band, but I didn't want that one because it had sparkles. I wanted to not too many put too many sparkles, so I grabbed my Bobbi Brown Mahogany number 10, which is a wonderful shadow. And I cannot remember what brush I used. I would like to use that Bobbi Brown one, but I don't know if I'll be able to find it right now under pressure, so I'm just gonna grab this one which is a MAC 211, and I believe this brush was discontinued. I think I got this at the CCO. So, and then I just took this and went right over the lash line like this. Yeah, you can see how 
how that adds that little bit. Like that. Okay, now I'm going to put just a little bit of mascara on my bottom lashes, and I use the Urban Decay Super Curl. And I barely and put then any. I just usually just take this and just do my lashes just a little bit, especially with the um, Dior Flash Air Flash because it will spray on your lashes. And you just want to. I'm not really trying to blend them in together that much. I just don't want my lashes to be blonde and sticking out underneath it. So just a little bit of mascara and. Just and then the like final that. step is my Maybelline. Um, this is the Buff, the newer one that I got. And I'll give it a couple clicks. And right where that darkness is, um, this Air Flash works so good that you don't really need a whole lot of this. But I'll go right in that, right there, you see it. Right in that area. And do some, this kind of highlights that area. And then I just pat it out like with my ring fingers and keep it right in that area and then sometimes I pull it out a little bit like that and that keeps that brightness underneath your eyes Okay, <laughs> that's it. Um, I think sometimes when you're doing more of a minimal makeup look, it's, I don't know, I think you sometimes use more time than you would if you're doing just a full-on makeup look, but it's worth it in the end. Um, so I'm going to go get dressed. I'm on casual sweatpants today, and okay, I'll be right back. This, what you are witnessing is my stay at home, take the kids to school, do nothing out, or go to the post office outfit of the day. And I always end up, this jacket has ended up being like my house coat. But, um, so it's just a Victoria's Secret sweat jacket, Victoria's Secret signature pants. Cold and enough for Uggs for me, so I've just got my hobby on the flip-flops on. So this is my everyday around the house And outfit. I probably will not even <laughs> do much to my hair. This is literally just like I woke up um, this morning and that Aveda, that helps it not get tangled and, um, so and you can see the makeup from our tutorial from further away and um, no fragrance, <laughs> no accessories. Um, and my nail polish is the OPI bubble bath. So I hope you enjoyed it leave and the, I will leave see down below soon. which one you want next. If you want the picture that I did last Friday where I copied the picture from Pinterest or um, just what look that you want down below. And um, I'll try to do another one real soon. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.